dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Excuse me? Hello, hello. Is that your holiness? Ja, ja. Is holiness here? Go ahead, I am listening. Your holiness, it's Jack from Australia here. Oh, hello again, Jack. It's always good to hear from you. Yeah, your holiness, we're a bit concerned down here because we've heard someone's reported one of our favourite bishops to Rome. Is that right, Jack? What have you heard? Your Holiness, Bishop Bill Morris from Toowoomba in Queensland is probably the most popular and pastoral bishop in this nation. There's a strong rumour going around that some of our goody two-shoes brethren have dobbed him in for allowing the third right of reconciliation or some other breach of the rules. Is that right, Your Holiness? I'm going right to the top here and asking you, man to man. Jack, I did hear the bishop is in Rome with Bishop Finnegan. But I'm not sure what the visit is in connection with. Well, Your Holiness, can you check it out for us and get back to us? Can you quash the rumour or tell us what's going on? Yes, Jack. I'll get back to you. Listen, Your Holiness, the Australian Catholic people are sick to death of these dobbers and goody-two-shoes who believe they know God's mind or your mind better than God knows his own mind or you know your own mind. It's time for this crap to stop. We're thoroughly sick of it. And we're sick of the way our bishops have been treated by the Vatican bureaucracy and by your predecessor. Our Cardinal was threatening our politicians this past week and we're threatening you. Already 85% of the faithful have left the pews because of this constant appeasement of the goody two-shoes and those who believe they'll make their way into heaven by hoop jumping. You need to clean up this game or more are going to give you and the church the big raspberry. Yes, Jack. And another thing, Your Holiness, talking about complaints, what's happened about the people's complaint against Cardinal Pell over his unorthodoxy on the primacy of conscience teaching? One for the little boy who lives down the lane. 